Hey guys, today we're checking out a new 30 Minutes Missions kit here. This is the 30 Minutes Missions Volpanova tank version. A little bit kind of difficult name for me to pronounce, I feel like, but it transforms into a tank, which is really cool. It has a very tank looking kind of design and color scheme there as well as some really cool just equipment overall, whether you want it in kind of tank form or in it's just kind of regular robot form. I think it's a really cool looking release out here in the line. So I'm really looking forward to checking it out. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So as for the box art here for the kit, pretty standard. We've got a 3D render of the main unit right here on the side and a kind of background action image over here showing it transformed in this tank form. You you can also see one up there just kind of in its, uh, I, I want to say mobile suit form, but it's not mobile suit, in its robot form anyway, doing a kind of action pose there, shooting the bazooka, but cool box art here on the front. On the side, you got kind of the same thing. This is 51 in the main line of releases. On the bottom of the box here, we got a look at some of the articulation features here. As we all are pretty well aware of the articulation of 30 minutes mission skits, I feel like at this point, they're of course very simple in their construction, but very nicely articulated. There's the change mode between the normal mode and the hybrid mode here you can change and then you can also change it to the full vehicle mode so you can do sort of like a zaku tank kind of thing that's kind of interesting so you can do that and then we of course can customize it with different parts from the different 30 minutes missions kits and option part sets and weapon sets and all that good stuff so on the other side there's a look at the front and the rear of it in its normal mode and vehicle mode right there. Popping open the box, as you can see, is a pretty thin box for this one, as is, again, pretty standard for the line. I don't know if we've ever had a 30 minutes missions box that was, you know, ever very much any thicker than this, really. But the instruction manual has the full color image that was the background image for the box art. Now we have it like in full color here, and it has some information over here on the side in Japanese and in English. Down here, some more information about the kind of background story there in Japanese and in English as well, without this having like a proper like animated TV series or anything like that. Uh, the story is just what you get from this here in the manual if you guys are interested in any kind of backstory here for your 30 minutes missions kits. On the back side of the manual, nothing there, but we do have a little bit here on the inner side folded page. Again, just talking about like customizing and the different kits. Here are the Gardenova, the Portanova, and then leading into now this one. And then again, talking about how you can customize it. We've got our parts list right here, which is in full color. The first page of the construction is in full color as well. Everything else is just gonna be in black and white, so you just kind of have to follow along there. And there is going to be about how to transform it into the hybrid mode and the tank mode, vehicle mode, I guess, as they're calling it over here. So a little bit of transforming required, but looks all pretty straightforward. We don't have any stickers included, but we do have some polycaps here, PC7 for some polycap ball joints. Getting into the runners, we've got some pretty interesting runner numbering here for this, starting off with runner A5 is gonna be in that main color of that kind of sand brown color. And that is gonna continue here on runners A6, A7, and A8. As you can see, these are all kind of quite segmented runners here for different parts of those, but these are all gonna be in that same sandy light brown coloring. Runner B is gonna be all of our joint parts and hand parts here in a really, really dark brown. It's almost black, but it's in a dark brown color there. Then runners C3 and C4 are gonna be in a kind of standard brown color for some of the detail parts, weapons parts. There's your tank tread parts on there as well. Last couple of bits are just gonna be runner D2 is a clear part there for the mono eye in clear green. And runner JA5 is gonna be a couple more joint parts there in that really dark brown, and that's it. All right, and here it is all built up. You gotta love that color scheme and just kind of the blocky aesthetic of it being sort of more kind of tank-like. It really works quite well with this design, I think, so this is definitely going to be one. If you're into that aesthetic, I think you'll really like this kit. You'll really enjoy it uh, compared to some of the other 30 Minutes Missions kits. I like how some of the 30 Minutes Missions kits recently have had like a specific theme, like we've had the Spinatio having their different sort of like commando or knight kind of looking theme to them. This one having this tank sort of theme to it. I think works really well. It's a quite interesting design here, and I think Ben has done a good job of taking everything that you love about the 30 Minutes Missions line from the nice details they have on there, all of the compatibility, of course, the ease of construction, and just the simplicity of the construction, giving you a really nice kit there in the end, even though it's a quite simple you know, design in terms of just the construction of the kit. It all comes together really nicely for the finished result here to give you a really nice model kit here. Accessory-wise for this, we're not really gonna have a whole lot. It's main weapon and here is just going to be this bazooka, which is really cool. Uh, it does also have the shield here on the arm, which doubles as, I guess, sort of like a cannon tank turret there, which we'll use for when this is transformed as well. But the bazooka here in brown is pretty cool. The forward 
handle can move forward and back like that. You can also rotate the angle of this. If you want to have it straight down, it doesn't quite fit just because of the way this is. You'd have to fold the handle forward and then you can have the handle straight to the front like that, but it has to be at that angle. You couldn't have it straight on. Anyway, the main handle also will move forward and back like so. Otherwise, just pretty straightforward. This is made up of multiple segments. So as with 30 minutes missions kits, you know, you can definitely mix and match some of these parts. We also have left over on the runner some little attachment pieces here that you might find useful. Basically, just these uh, kind of male to male connection pieces. This one joint piece right here. And yeah, like I said, otherwise, we just have our main kit, the clear green part there for the kind of mono eye camera on it does look pretty cool. The head will be able to turn left and right. However, that camera doesn't move up and down or anything separately. Kind of would have been cool if it did, but you can take that part off of there. And for the alternate version, for the green version of this kit, the quad bike version that has a different uh, face plate on it. The tank parts are attached sort of as like the side skirt connection sort of as it were here on the side of the hips. So those are just plugged into a piece right there that connects into there so that is able to move up and down these plug into here and you can adjust the angle left and right there's a lot of areas where you have articulation built into here a joint here and here for that otherwise the articulation of this is going to all be pretty standard to the 30 minutes missions line we have some nice bend and ab crunch there in the midsection the shoulder joints are able to swing to the front we've got a single joint at the elbow but it gives you a pretty good full bend there wrist is on a ball joint the hip joint is able to swing down to the front in order to get the leg up pretty high there it is going to be a little bit blocked there just because of that uh, thicker front armor there on the front of the thigh a double joint here the knee is going to give you a full bend there with some separation of that knee armor which is attached onto the front of the knee joint there the ankle joint will move front and back and the foot itself is on a ball joint so you can kind of adjust the angle forward back side to side there for that up underneath the feet looks like this with some nice detail there a couple of points where you could add additional parts onto there if you wanted to as well as is also of course customary to the 30 minutes missions line we've got all sorts of different attachment points everywhere for customization on this. And lastly here up on this kind of like backpack part, this also does kind of fold down like that. If you wanted to have just like a standard backpack connection, uh, something plugged into there. And this is all just going to be again, part of the transformation. So why don't we go ahead and uh, get this transformed and see what it looks like. And so here is the like kind of half transformation. So we have two different ways that you can transform it. One is like this sort of like a comparable to like a Zaku tank sort of thing, right? Which is less interesting to me as it's basically just like uh, the legs are folded up on the back and uh, the tank treads are just kind of reattached here onto the side rather than onto the back. Anyway, the orientation of them is slightly changed. But here we go. What I think is a little bit more interesting is the kind of more full on tank mode where you have it's just kind of a bit more even collapsed. You have a little bit of transformation here in the head where you're kind of moving the camera from the front of the head to the top of the head. This bar, which is like a part of the chest, which was down like that originally is just folded up. And again, we have just a little like slight transformation here on the tank treads. I forgot to mention that these parts here on the front also, you can adjust the angle of them a little bit like that. So depending on if you're like, doing like a, a diorama pose or something like that, it's on like uneven terrain, you might find that little bit of uh, articulation there kind of helpful. Yeah, I think this transformation is pretty interesting looking here like this. It does still kind of give the look of like a folded up uh, robot here. And I don't know, with the head kind of pointed out the way it is, sort of looks like a, like a little, like a pug or some kind of small dog or something. I don't know, I, I don't know why I can't quite shake the feeling of looking at some kind of small dog, but the tank cannon there on the top is pretty cool. Of course, you can just rotate that side to side, like so, up and down. So there it is in tank mode anyway. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this kit here in the 30 minutes missions line. Like I mentioned before, I think it's quite interesting in that it has, you know, a very specific kind of theme to it. And I think it does a good job at, you know, making an interesting kit within that theme of like a transforming tank mecha model. I think it does pretty good at that. That said, I mean, it is a little bit of a pretty funky, unique design, so it might not appeal to everyone. So let me know what you guys think about the design in the comment section down below. Do you find it something cool or kind of weird or sort of in between or do you think that it might be good for obviously some kit bashing and I'm not sure if even kit bashing is the right word when it comes to like 30 minutes mission stuff kind of the whole point is to kit bash stuff together right so maybe not so much kit bashing but more sort of just customization uh, what customizations do you think might be cool with this uh, amongst the 
other different releases of the main kits or option parts or things like that from the 30 minutes missions line. I think this is one that as it is, I think it makes for a really good kit just kind of on its own where it doesn't really leave you feeling like something's missing or feeling like you feel like there should have been something more in the box. Honestly, I think uh, just with the kit on its own, with the transformation, with the one kind of main weapon that it has and sort of like the somewhat auxiliary weapon of the shield cannon bit there as well. I think it does make for a pretty good set of accessories for it, but obviously there's plenty more options available for you with the different weapon sets and op option armor sets and all sorts of different stuff there from 30 Minutes Missions and also 30 Minutes Sisters if you wanted to combine some of that stuff as well. But anyway guys, if you want to check out some of the kits for yourself, check the link in the video description to USA Gundam store. We've got all sorts of the 30 Minutes Missions, 30 Minutes Sisters, other stuff from Bandai, other mecha models, other option parts from other companies as well, like the Kotobukiya MSG option line for example. All sorts of stuff there for you guys to check out so check out that link in the video description and as always guys really appreciate all of your support liking the video commenting subscribing all really helps out a lot so thank you guys all so much for checking out the video here today hope you all have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next one see ya